Hey, hey guys, Birdie here with a quick little video on one of our kits, a little tutorial. Uh, for those who have just stumbled upon my page, my name is Birdie Larson. I own Redbird Designs and I love crafting and I love sharing that with others and inspiring others to get creative because there is therapy in getting into that creative zone. So welcome to all my new members, new watchers. Um, okay, so this is the Word Block Merry and Bright kit. We have a couple others on our website, and I wanted to do just a very quick tutorial on working with paper and putting this together. So your kit comes with, uh, let's just look at the backer here. So this is the backer that holds all the blocks together. Um, and then I've already done some of my blocks. I've applied the paper, decoupage paper to it. Um, I'll show you this one here, uh, but this is how I'm going to lay it out. Um, and they just sit right on the uh, backer like this. We'll glue that together in just a minute. This comes with a cute little string of lights. Um, I've already painted the Mary that sits in the blocks of the top on top and then also the and bright that sits in this bottom block okay so i created these wood blocks all the same width so it's very easy to cut uh, multiple pieces at one time um, they all are if i stack them all together even this one they're all the same width and they've kind of got paint on them because I was going to paint this, so ignore the paint. Um, but uh, they're all two and a half inches. I made them that way so they would be easy uh, for you guys to cut the paper uh, and use um, the paper for multiple pieces and things like that. Okay, so what I did, there's a couple different ways. If you have a paper cutter, and here's a uh, piece of paper here. Um, you can use a paper cutter and cut your strips. So you can even stack a couple pieces together and create multiple cuts. But I'm going to cut it at two and a half. And we'll just cut one here for you for an example. So we have our two and a half inch strips. And then what you can do is take each block, you're going to lay it on the edge to edge here, and then you can take a pencil, draw your line here, and then cut it with some scissors or even your paper cutter and snip it there. And that's an easy way to get your um, paper blocks. The other way, if you don't have a paper cutter, let's just say you have a piece of paper here, you can just lay your block on the paper, kind of where you want your pattern to be, using a pencil, draw around the outside edge, and now we have an outline that you can cut out with scissors. So two different ways, outline it or with a paper cutter. Okay. All right, so we have our piece of paper here and we need to apply it. I'm gonna use Mod Podge, but you could use um, just regular Elmer's glue. Um, and I'm just gonna take the Mod Podge and just draw, or draw, uh, drop a little bit of that glue on here. And then I use just a black sponge brush. You can use any brush. I'm just gonna smooth that out to all the edges. I don't recommend using your nice brushes for this. This is glue, so if you don't get it completely cleaned out, um, it could ruin your nice brushes. So use something old, crusty, a chip brush, one of these black sponge brushes. Um, and then I wet, just wrap it in some baby wipe, which is wet, until I can get it washed. So it doesn't dry out on me, and I can reuse that brush again um, if I want to. All right. So then I'm just going to take my piece of paper, I'm going to lay it out, smooth it out with my fingers, 
just to make sure it's right where I want it. And then I'm going to take my uh, squeegee or an old gift card if you don't have one of these um, and just really push that paper on the wood. It's going to squeeze out any excess glue or Mod Podge um, and just make sure that it's super smooth. Okay. And then once this dries, I take a nail file and I drag the nail file right on the edge and that helps just make sure that if I have any piece of paper that's overlapping a little bit that I have a little overlap on this side um, it helps cut it so it's uh, exact size of my block you can kind of see how it's uh, just kind of sanding that paper away in right on that edge so it's just a right at an angle on that and you can kind of go down like this and it doesn't take much to get that excess paper off and you're just kind of left with these little strings of paper but that's an easy way to clean up if you've accidentally cut it too big. So there we are. The other thing that I like to do after I get my paper on is give it kind of a distressed look. So I grab a baby wipe and a little bit of brown paint on that baby wipe and I'm just gonna run it along the edge. Not only does it give it a distressed look, but it also kind of creates a shadow, giving it more of a 3D look. Kind of makes it look a little deeper and it helps to just kind of outline and distinguish between my different blocks okay so now that all my blocks are ready we can glue these on but before i do that i want to um, give my lights just a little embellishment i'm using this dimensional magic from mod podge and you can get this at any of the hobby stores but what it's going to do and i'm just going to put a little on my lights and kind of move it around so a little drop and then push it around with that tip it's going to make these lights look like they're glass takes a minute to dry so i want to do this step before i glue everything on so you can really see the magic of this dimensional stuff. It's really cool. Okay. So let me bring that up to the camera so you can see how that looks. You can kind of just see that build up on there. And it's going to look amazing once it's dry. So let's set that aside for a second while we um, glue this up. So I'm going to start by gluing my blocks on. And I'm just using a super glue, I'm putting a little bead of glue underneath. And I want to line it up to the top here. Because there is a little lip here that we want to leave available for the stand. So I'm just double checking to make sure nothing slid or moved as I was placing my pieces and they all look great. So I'm gonna hold it for a second. So I'm kind of laying everything out, making sure that everything is somewhat centered, okay? And then I'm just gonna start gluing those pieces down. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's see, I don't know if my dimensional magic is going to dry in time but this guy will sit right in here like this kind of this one will sit right between those two it was designed to kind of work its way through the letters there uh, let's see if i can just blow dry this i don't know if that will work i blasted the uh, dimensional magic with some heat um, and so we can start to see some of that glassy finish happening. Um, it's not quite dry all yet, but I'm going to let it naturally dry so I don't ruin the finish with too much heat. 
but it is dry enough that we can get it glued on and it will be fine. So for the skinny piece, I am just going to add some drops to the actual lights and not worry about the wire. All right, there we go. How cute is that? And then don't forget about your stand. You do have a stand. I've already painted this to match my letters. And then it just slots right in there. There we go. Just a quick little video on how to put your word blocks together and using paper as the backer for the blocks to create a fun holiday piece. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.